Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to Hello Mendix. Dynamic classes are an amazing way to apply different class names to different page elements based on data or an expression. Let's go. So for this example, I'd simply like to add a red or green color to the background based on if the order has been paid. Now in Mendix 10, you will find the dynamic classes in the styling section of the properties pane. So there's properties and then there's the styling section over there. And if you scroll down to dynamic classes, we can click this to open up the window. Now for this to work, you're going to need some class names in your style sheets that you can apply here based on your uh, data or expression. So in my main.scss, I have two class names, one called paid and one called unpaid. They're exactly the same, except paid has a green background. Uh, it's using our brand success uh, color and then unpaid has a red background that's using the brand danger color. So if we go back to our page, we can open up the properties here and go to appearance. You'll find the dynamic classes here as well. And we're just gonna click edit and we're going to add in a little statement here. So for this, we have the current object as well as the data view object. So we don't care so much about the data view one, and um, that is just the user's account. We care about the user's order, um, so we're gonna use that. So for this example, I'm just going to use a Boolean variable that I have on my orders entity, which is called paid. And it's simply gonna be a true and false statement. If paid equals true, then we show the paid class. If paid equals false, we show the unpaid class. So we're just gonna say if current object slash paid equals true then we're going to show the paid class and if not we're going to do an else and we will show unpaid now this is in quotes because it's a string literal uh, it needs to match exactly what it says in the style sheet the only thing is you don't have to include the dot you don't have to put dot paid like that now I can run my app and we should see it highlight in the corresponding color when I open the page. Now when I go to my orders page, we should immediately see which orders have been paid. And it's working, you can see these ones are in green and this one down at the bottom is unpaid. If you're curious to see how this works in practice, I've included a link to this project file in the description of this video. That's all for now. Until next time, I'm Ryan Mocky, and this is Hello Mendix.